Now, your Slaughterhouse album was a parody. It's kind of commentary on kind of the wild stuff as as the as the music was changing. It's kind of your, I guess, reflection on it. Were you concerned that people wouldn't get it? Were you concerned that people would wouldn't recognize some of the album as parody and and would take take it as an artistic turn for you? I I, I knew that a lot of people weren't going to get it, and I was cool with that. I I cared about the people that that did get it, the the people that were smarter than the average person that were going to hear that album and go, oh shit, he's, he's like really making fun of the whole gangster thing. But I realized that the vast majority of people were going to hear it and not get it. And sure enough, I was in St. Louis, Missouri, at a car show, and they told me that, yo, your record Slaughterhouse is like the biggest shit out here. And they played the part of the Slaughterhouse where I got the fake gangster rap. Here comes craziest dicks on earth. They played it right in the, at the car show, and the whole St. Louis crowd, murder, 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 and kill, kill, kill. <laughs> like, it was dead ass, and I was just like sitting there going, this is really sad. But... You know, it, it for whatever it's worth, they liked it, they danced to it, I'm cool with it. 